Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lizzie, in case you're new. And so I've just been doing kind of a series of my makeup collection and products. So today I will be sharing with you my single eyeshadows. I already did the cream and liquid eyeshadows, so now I have a ton of just single eyeshadows, even though I don't even <laughs> reach for them too often, so they kind of just sit there. But let's go through this um, and just see what I have. Um, so I have a ton of these Bobbi Brown singles. They came out, I think, last year in these little um, gold square cases. They kind of remind me of uh, chocolates. <laughs> but um, So I got a bunch of these from the collection. This is the Lux Eyeshadow Rich Luster in Liquid Mercury. Mercury. So it's kind of like this taupey brown shade. I'm not going to swatch everything because we'll just be here forever, but some of these I will swatch. I haven't really reached for these too often, but I really should. Ooh, that's so pretty. That is liquid mercury. And yeah, it is kind of a taupey gray-brown shade there. Um, I think Bobbi Brown really stepped up their game with the quality of their eyeshadows especially, and even just their products in general. Um, you know, a lot of their lipsticks they've been releasing, and so I think they just are, you know, really just making their products better, in my opinion. This is the shade Poison Ivy, so I had to get this one because it's green. It's a beautiful green color. Look at that. See, in the past, I feel like, ooh, look at that sparkle. In the past, I feel like their shadows used to be very chalky and just not pigmented at all and just dry and ugh, just a mess. So these are a lot better, I've been finding. This is chlorophyll, so another green shade. Oh, this one is like a really sparkly emerald shade. I don't think I've, yeah, I haven't even swatched it. Oh, this is very glittery. I haven't even swatched that yet. Let's see how it looks next to the chlorophyll. Oh, so this one isn't, isn't as nice in my opinion. It's very glittery. I can see a lot of fallout and it's kind of drier so not as smooth and creamy as um i don't even remember what the other one was called now poison ivy so poison ivy is definitely smoother and creamier and this one is a little bit drier and patchy looking kind of like a black base with that green glitter so that's you know all right but you could just see that having a lot of fallout eventually this is the shade Serpentine, Ugh, another green shade. I didn't realize they had so many greens from this collection. See, I don't even reach for them. This one looks like kind of a little bit more muted. Like a, yeah, so not like green green, more of like a blue green almost. Grayish there. Very pretty though. I like that one. I have my gross MAC makeup wipes that I don't like to remove these swatches. This is the shade Volcanic. Ooh, so this is kind of looks like that chlorophyll shade, maybe like a black base and purple glitter. Let's see. Yeah, definitely looks like chlorophyll. Ooh. Yeah, I don't know about those. It's just like you catch the glitter reflect in the sun, but I can't really see those performing very nicely on the eyes. I think I am going, this isn't really a declutter, but I'm just going through my collection and what I like and don't like and see myself reaching for. So I think I'm actually gonna get rid of or sell on my Macari the shade here in Volcanic and this shade in Chlorophyll. I just don't like that kind of chunky glitter. I like the more smooth pigmented versions. And there's a different type. This, these are called rich sparkles. Yeah, so that's why. Those are rich sparkles, and these other ones are rich luster. So that's why they're a little bit just more glittery and chunkier. Now I'm gonna have glitter all over my hand again. Okay, let's keep going. I have a few more of those. So I have Golden Chocolate, so this is the sequin eyeshadow, so this is a little bit different. I think this was actually released, yeah, this is different, because this was released a few years ago, I wanna say 2016 or 2017, so it's not the same collection as the other ones, um, but the same packaging. Ooh, look at that. 
the shine. Ooh. So it's not like very pigmented, but just has a very nice, very glittery shine sparkle to it. I really like that. I, I could see fallout happening, but it's not, it doesn't feel as chunky as the uh, chlorophyll or volcanic shades. So I think uh, that used to be the older formula. And this one is Metal Rose. This was part of that other formula. See, the pans look a little bit different. It has this pattern in it. This looks very pretty. Yeah, oh, that is gorgeous. I really need to wear that. So that one is Metal Rose. So it's like a very rose gold pink shade. And then they released these two um, this past fall. So these are the green uh, camo kind of packaging here. This one is in the shade Jungle. It's a luxe multi-chrome eyeshadow. So yeah, when you see this, it has like swirl pattern in there, marble. I actually don't want to touch these yet. I know. I know we're probably just dying to see what this shade looks like swatched, but I don't. I can't bring myself to touch these yet. Um, and this is the multi-chrome incandescent. So this is a very shiny peach color, it looks like. Um, I think if you go online, though, you could definitely find swatches. So, sorry, this one was jungle. So that's the jungle shade in the green. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I saw them online, and they did look really pretty, but I just don't want to touch mine yet. This is a kind of indie brand I got in my Ipsy bag, Mellow Cosmetics. I don't know. I don't really know too much about them. It's a very pretty shade, though. That kind of reminds me of the Bobbi Brown one. Yeah, so just a little bit darker, more pigmented, but really nice brown shade in the shade Coco. So I am going to keep that. I think that's a nice affordable brand, even though I don't know too much about them. And so that was all my Bobbi Brown. And... Let's see, I have a couple MAC here, MAC single pots. So this is the shade uh, Photos and Uquerdos. I don't know. I think that I got this from my friend that works at MAC. She had just like these sample shades here. This one, I don't know. I'm not that, I'm not that familiar with MAC shadows. Look at that. It's not pigmented at all. Yeah, that's really bad. I'm going to get rid of that one. Um, yeah, I actually don't think I've really ever worn their powder shadows on my eyes before. Um, oh, maybe this one though. This one is Sumptuous Olive, but I never got one of their like big palettes and wore those. So of course this is a green shade. I said I'm not going to swatch everything, but I am. Oh, that's not really like green. That's more kind of brown, coppery. Yeah, that does not look green at all. Um, I will keep that one. And these I got from one of the limited edition collections. I think um, it has like the different packaging. I can't remember the collection though. This is Slow As You Go. I'm not going to swatch these, but that looks like a nice purple satin. And this one is Sun Tan and Repeat. So that looks like a blue teal duochrome shade there. I'm going to keep those. And then I have some of these Lancome singles in the special packaging. I thought I had another one here. So I have these three. The Lancome. Yeah, I guess I can't find the other one. Maybe I didn't. So the pink sparkly packaging came out, I think, last year. The Ombre Hypnos Ultra. And this is knew it granat so this is like a black base gold khaki color and it has a little pattern of the sequins Ooh, do i ruin it let me see if i touched any this is khaki mystere so yeah this green teal shade there do not touch that one and this was from a couple years ago before um petit tresor in hotel particulier that. I don't know, I feel like I did use this one. Very pretty gray, purple, lilac color. Oh, that's really nice. Sparkly and shiny, so I will keep all of those. I think I saw somebody um, 
Is it Leora? Lyra? She's from New York and she has <laughs> the best New York accent. And I think she got, she found those at uh, TJ Maxx, <laughs> which is crazy. I wish we had a TJ Maxx here that could find these great deals on makeup. But alas, I just buy full price or trying to be better. These are my Natasha Denona Chroma Crystal Top Coats. So this is a pretty formula. I like them. This one is in gray brown, but I don't reach for them as much. So they're a little bit thinner and make a really pretty wash of color. Oh, look at that. It's so shiny and metallic. Yeah. So you could wear it alone on the eyes or on top of another shadow. This is the shade, oh, this is the Duo Chrome Top Coat. So she released a couple of these after the other ones. Um, so this is Burnt Terracotta Green. So it has like a green shift to it, super shiny. Yeah, so it has like the green sparkles, but like a peach base. So that came out after the original shades. And this one here is nude. That also came out with the gray color. Just like taking my hand in them because I don't want to try and make sure that they don't dry out. But they could. I don't really know if this could have gone in with my cream shadows or not. Um I mean they're not they don't feel creamy, but they are kind of like that jelly formula almost, gelée, but they feel like powder on the swatches and when you apply them. Okay, these are my L'Oreal Galaxy Lumiere Holographic Eyeshadows. Um, got these on Ulta. They only have three shades. I wish they had more because I really like this formula. They have the prettiest reflect to them. So this one here, sorry, Pippa's in the way. Um, yeah, I don't even see a shade. Oh, here, Crescent Moon. So see the reflect is like this white, but kind of green and pink. Oh, that is just stunning. Like, when the light catches that, it's an inner corner highlight or in the center of the lid. That's beautiful. I, yeah, I really wish they created more from this line. So I got this other shade here too. It's um, Moon Kissed. So it's this purple lilac shade. Look at that, the blue and the pink. Ugh, so pretty. They have another shade. I wanna say it's more like a ivory kind of gold color, I think, but I haven't gotten that one yet. They are a little bit pricier for L'Oreal. Um, I wanna say maybe 12 or $13, so I just usually wait until they're having a deal on L'Oreal products <laughs> to get them a little bit cheaper. This is my Kiko Milano eyeshadow in 209. I don't even know what this is. Oh, so it has that really cool 3D pattern effect. Um, I haven't even touched it, it looks like, but it does look a little worn there, so let's touch it. It's their green shade. I don't know, too, I have too many products from Kiko Milano. Oh, that reminds me of the Bobbi Brown serpentine color or poison ivy or whatever. That's really nice. Yeah, I, had, I don't have too many Kiko Milano items. Um, I mostly get them for my Untouchables collection if they're really cutely packaged or have a nice print to them so I probably just picked that up in one of the orders and never used it. This I don't even know why I got this. This is Benefit. I didn't who knows who even knew that they made eyeshadows. Um I probably got it a couple years ago. I don't even know if I got it from the Benefit website or some other website. Kiss me I'm tipsy. So it's just like this chocolate brown color. I don't even know. Did I touch it? Yeah, I might have like dipped a brush into it, it looks like, but let's see. I've never used it on the eyes. It's a pretty chocolate color. I mean, it's nice, but it's not like 
something I don't already have, so I think I will just let that go too. And then this is my Illamasqua eyeshadow in Horde. So this is just a pretty gold color here. As you can tell, I like a lot of metallic shades, shimmer shades. Oh, that's stunning. That is like liquid gold peach. Beautiful. I should really get more Illamasqua products. They have a really nice quality, but they are kind of on the pricier side, so I try not to. Unless there's something I really want. I only have one of their highlighters, too. Oh, I forgot. This Bobbi Brown, this is just one of their regular eyeshadows. Um, shimmer eyeshadow in rose gold. Pretty rose gold shade. It's nice, but it kind of reminds me of the metal rose. Huh. I'll just keep it for now. Oh, and then I have these MAC shadows, which are kind of weird. I didn't know if these should be considered cream or not. No, I think they're powder, but they're just like this really different formula. Um, the Spellbinder shadow. So these are the ones that are like magnetized. So they just kind of go back to this pattern here um, in the pot. Um, this one is Mysterious Influence. So you, so strange. You like pat them and they feel like cream. Oh, look at that. Oh my God. Yeah, and then they just, hmm. Makes a nice wash of color. It's just so strange. They're, they feel fuzzy, that's what they feel like. It's fuzzy eyeshadow. <laughs> this is the shade Cosmic Clash. So this is like a blue teal shade. Yeah, oh, they look so beautiful on the finger and then they kind of blend out a little. I really should try and use these more. They're just so interesting. And the last one, Retrograde. So this was also a sample that my friend got at MAC. So this is like a purple. Black. Ugh. Mm -hmm. So shiny. Some glitter. But not like big chunks of glitter. Here are my Tarte um, Chrome Paint Pops. I thought I had more than two, but yeah, just two. Um, this is Martini. So these are supposed to be a loose pigment, um, but when I got this, it was so crumbly and just powdery. I thought it broke and shattered, but I reread the description and I'm like, yeah, I guess this is right. It's a loose pigment. So I just repressed it down with one of those other plastic toppers that come in some of the shadow pots now. So this is just like a really foiled metallic gold green shade. Look at that. So I really feel like Tarte kind of started the whole trend. Um, now that we see Hourglass has them, Marc Jacobs, um, just this whole like chrome paint pots. Um, this one was one of the shades um, that released a little bit later after the first shades. So this is Sun Drenched sun drenched so now it comes with these little stoppers here and they're more pressedly or pressed and <laughs> packed into the pot so it wasn't you know crumbly because i think people were thinking that the shadows came broken and we're getting like exchanges or refunds so i think tart decided to change it up and make them packed into the pot more so that's sun drenched I really wanted to get more shades of these, um, but you know, I just never reach for my single shadow, so I only kept it at these two, but those are so metallic. And like I said, um, Marc Jacobs and Hourglass released similar ones, so I got one of each. Um, this one is, see they're called the sequins for um, Marc Jacobs, and this is Topaz Flash, so it has the stopper. 
So it feels the same to me like the tart ones. Ooh. Just the way it catches the sunlight, you see all the different glitter reflex and colors. So this has like blue and pink and gold. It's just stunning. And then the hourglass ones, I heard like sold out. These are scattered light glitter eyeshadows. This was the shade Reflect. I heard these sold out and have been sold out for a while. Um, I managed to get the shade when it came back in stock during, I think the Sephora sale, one of the Sephora sales either. The Friends and Family or the VIB Rouge sale. I can't remember. I wanted multiple shades, but I'm like, just try one and see how you like it. This feels a little thinner, almost like the Natasha Denona top coats, but it's still like super metallic and shiny and glittery. So I don't know how they are with fallout since I actually have never worn them on my eyes um, yet. <laughs> so maybe there is a lot of glitter fallout. Maybe you need to just use a glitter glue. I'm not really sure, but have to see this year definitely for sure what they're like okay um let's go on i have a couple gucci singles and a duo i love gucci packaging it's just in my opinion like the most luxurious packaging over tom ford and uh I can't even think of the other freaking names dolce and gabbana burberry i just love the gucci gold g print in the black and gold so this is the shade mosaic so it has the beautiful gucci print i don't think i've even touched these this is a gold green color of course one of my favorites i'm not going to touch them yet this one i did touch starlight so this is like a taupey oh, they're very soft I hate ruining that print so this is a beautiful like champagne taupe color if you can see that and then this duo is agate open it there so this has a darker kind of line a uh, forest green and a gold shade so i haven't even touched those yet i love the packaging and the little cloth i have a quad too but i think that's with my chanel and dior stacks that i still have to go through and show that in a future video um I have some NARS here. I love the NARS dual intensity shadows. Oh, I have this one too. Um, first, this is the Man Ray collection Montparnasse. I didn't even realize I had this. So this uh, is a duo here, like a gold shade and a burgundy shade. And it has the Man Ray logo and lip print there here's another duo earth angel so this is just like a pretty taupe shade and a green shade i'm not going to swatch everything oh this is from their new formula that they released strata so i couldn't find it on ulta or sephora so i got it from bloomingdale's i think um so it's just this really pretty purple lilac color with gold shift uh sparkles to it so it's very dry feeling and but it's very soft and I just thought the shade was super unique so it's like the prettiest lavender shade with some gold shimmer running through it so I had to get that this is the shade Goa oh this was also from the new collection I totally forgot I got two of these <laughs> this one I haven't even swatched yet this definitely looks more glittery it doesn't feel as dry as the Strata, but oh, that is beautiful. It has like a peacock green, blue, teal. I love those shades. So that is Goa. And then this one here is Night Clubbing. This was one of the first NARS single shadows I ever bought. I want to say I got this probably three or four years ago. So mm, I'm gonna, this one... It's dry, it's chalky looking, it's very 
I don't even know. This isn't even like my type of shade. So it's black with gold glitter. I mean, it's, it's okay. I mean, for a black shade, but I just don't see myself wearing that. <laughs> like putting it all over my eye. <laughs> it's not a black eyeshadow kind of girl. And then these are the dual intensity shadows. They're magnetic. I love these. I wish I got one of the palettes when they released a bunch of them in the palette. This is the shade Pacifay. So it's a gorgeous peacock green gold, just like the other shade Goa I kind of showed you. Uh, uh, just love that. Uh, this is the shade Dion. Dion. This is like a champagne shade. So it's the dual intensity when you see this kind of pattern in it. Ooh, that one is stunning. Just lovely shine. Um, this one is Hydra. So it's a really pretty teal blue. I didn't even remember getting this one. And then this one is Desdemona. So this is like a purple and a magenta shade here. Oh, that's stunning. I thought I was drying out a little bit. Still looks great. So that is one of my favorite formulas from NARS is that dual intensity eyeshadow. Oh, and I also have this NARS shade um, in the box here, tan lines. I think this is also still the dual, dual intensity. Yeah. Yeah, so this is like a chocolate brown shade. Let's watch that one. Keep it in the box. I have a few of these little shadow singles. Um, I don't know. They're Korean. This is expires this year. Um, I just got them because of the cute little prints on them. So it has a little heart print. So I haven't touched these, so I don't really care about how good the formula is, but got those. I have a little Makeup Forever Artist Shadows little single here. Probably got it as a free sample. Here is another free sample from Buxom. So this is a pretty gold shade gold status. Here is Rouge Bunny Rouge, uh, Bohemian Wax Wing. I love their liquid shadow that I swatched in my other video. This is pretty. I haven't touched it, so I'm just going to leave it. Um, it was just so pigmented and creamy. Um, so I actually want to hope to get a couple more of those on Bloomingdale's. They have a couple other shades, like a blue and a pretty like gray color so I might get those eventually they're pretty expensive I got it before when it was super cheap and discounted so I'll just have to wait for a sale this is the Chantecai mermaid eye color and seashell I think I don't know if this is cream or not it feels creamy but it also just seems like a powder yeah I think it's a powder so pretty champagne ivory color keep that here is a little tart Single shadow, um, metallic shadow, and shakedown. So it's a pretty kind of taupey shade. Oh, so soft. That's beautiful. Kind of looks like they're chrome paint pots only in pressed powder. Here's a Jouer eyeshadow in pistachio. This was from a few years ago. I remember getting figure out how to open it. So nice olive green color. Feels very powdery. Still pretty though. Not like I don't already have a ton of those shades. It is a hot one today in Arizona. Sun is shining. I want to say it's like 70 degrees. Um Charlotte Tilbury, The Huntress. It's the Nocturnal Cat Eyes. 
shadow. I won't touch this yet. It kind of looks like a gold brown black color. Lord and Berry. Got this from Space and K. Still soft. I'm surprised. I've had it for a while. It's kind of a lighter green shade there. NYX Jaded. This came in an Ipsy bag. It arrived shattered, so they sent me a new one. And I'm glad because it is a beautiful green teal shade. My type of color. Oh, look at that. That is NYX. I should get more of those. Beautiful, pigmented. Just I just don't reach for single shadows. Is anybody else like that? I just feel like I have so many palettes that I need to use and try that I just get those instead. Here are the Stila Vivid and Vibrant Eyeshadow Duos that just came out. Um, I got it half off at Ulta in the shade Garnet. So I didn't really understand the concept of these because I was like, well, you just have two of the same shadow and the same... <laughs> compact here but they are different this one um it's kind of like the shimmery shade um satin kind of formula and this is the very glittery counterpart so i got garnet yeah oh that's gorgeous i wanted to get more of these but then they weren't half off anymore so i just am waiting till they go on sale again and that is the glittery shade i think i want the purple one or the we have a blue. Here is a very old Urban Decay single in Smog. This is the single eyeshadow I used to just wear all over my lid. One swipe and here you go. So I've definitely been trying to just finish this up. You know, I would just continuously use this or Stila La Duce single pot shadow. I don't think, I actually do have a new one here. Um, so I just use it up, use it up until, yeah, I used everything and then I would just go buy a new one and that's all I wore all over my lid for years and now smog is in my Urban Decay Naked palette so but I need to use that single up and finish it. This is the Clinique Eye Pop and Lid Pop in Willow Pop so pretty green in that daisy print. It's my Chanel single Ombre Premier uh, Longwear Powder Eyeshadow Desert Rouge. So I love the POTS um, cream formula that they do. I showed that in my last video. And then they had this single here. That is a gorgeous kind of desert red or just like that kind of clay sand color. Here is Paul and Joe. This cute little packaging. And it's a three pan, but I don't know. I think I just got it for the packaging because this is kind of not very practical using those three small little slivers there. <laughs> to hurry it up because I have a ton more shadows. This is Makeup Forever, the Starlit Powder, um, Iridescent Pearl. So these are just like the loose pigments. You could use them as a highlighter or eyeshadow. I got this a few years ago and you just need a little dab of it. And so I got a new one this year in, this is Starlet Diamond Powder. So this is Starlet Powder, this is Starlet Diamond Powder. So maybe that's why I was so disappointed with this one. I was expecting it to be very, just kind of like a metallic sheen like the other one. And this is shade 108 Burgundy. But when I swatched this one, it is just like glitter, glitter all over. I was going to return it. I got it during the sale. I was going to return it and then I just never got around to it because I did want to just try it out and try wearing it all over the eyelid um, to see how I like it, see if there's any fallout. And I just never got around to it. So I still, since I still have it and I think it's too late to return it. I'll just keep it for now and see how I like it. These are the Kat Von D Metal Crush eyeshadows that were super on sale. So I got these. This is Thunderstruck. This is everybody's like holy grail inner corner highlight. 
I got that one. I haven't even used it yet. This is the shade Lolita. It, I got it when it released just as a single. Um, and then I got it in the Lolita vault. So I have two of these now. I have to find the other one because I, I will just sell one then. You can use that as a cheek or eyeshadow. This is the shade Iggy. So it's a super green metallic shade there. Um, I just got, oh, here's another one by Kat Von D. This is the shade Synergy. This one I got, I want to say a while ago, I think. Yeah, before they went on sale. Ugh, they're super both soft and just buttery. Yo, that's so pretty. Yeah. Okay. So I just got these Le Medier Debute singles from Neiman Marcus because they were super on sale. Um, I want to say normally they're like something like $27, $29 or something, and they're on sale for like $7, and then they were even more marked down after I bought a few for like $5, so I picked a few of these up. This is uh, Nutmeg. This is the shade Plum. This one I actually got for, no, not this one yet. Plum, purple shade. This one. This one is Fig. I got this from the sales assistant from Neiman Marcus. She sent me a goodie bag full of their products because one of the items that I was trying to order ended up not being in stock and it was just like this whole back and forth back and forth about when it'll be available and it just never became available so she was very apologetic and sent me a bunch of their stuff to make up for it and that shadow was in there so I knew I liked their single shadows based off this shade here this is the shade chameleon this packaging got all sticky which was gross so that was annoying um, but luckily none of the other ones here were. This is Innocence, so kind of like a metallic orange shade. This is the shade Fire Lily, so very pretty red cranberry color. And this is the shade Alexandrite. So I'm, get, I'm selling my stacks of the Le Medier Debute um, eyeshadow stacks on Macari because I never use those or reach for those. And since I just bought a bunch of these singles, I figure I'll just keep these. This is a little eyeshadow by the brand Face. I think I got this Face Stockholm. I think I got this from Anthropology, maybe. This is the shade Pearl. It's very little. I don't know why this is called Pearl. <laughs> Looks more like toffee. It's brown. Nothing stellar, but you know. Tiny little shadow. This is my very expensive Sisley single eyeshadow in amber. Can't believe I spent how much money on this, but then again, I have others that are coming up. So that's just a pretty copper bronze color. Ugh, this one, Kevin O'Quan. I got this from Space NK during one of their sales and it came like already loose see it's like dried up already so that sucked because on space nk it says ugh, and then you rub it and it's just like pills look at that it's just pilling and it's not even coming on my hand it's just pilling off so space nk is always like if um you buy it on sale. Oh, see, it doesn't even. That one's trash. If you buy it on sale, um, you just that's it. All sales are final or something. So, and they sell this garbage that they already know is bad. It's the shade Haze. So that's the last time I'll get that crap. These are my Stila singles. So, like I said, I used to just wear Urban Decay or Stila shadow, and I haven't even I think touched some of these because some of these are in a palette I have. This shade Grace, I think I did touch this one. It's a pretty wash of color, but I think I'll just sell that because I don't reach for it. This is the shade I would wear every day, La Douce. It's the prettiest gold green color. Still like one of my favorites. Ugh, look at that, yeah. I think I like the powder form better than the uh, shimmer and glow in the shade, the liquid eyeshadow. Yeah, I think the powder is just prettier on the eye. 
This is espresso. So that just looks like a shimmery brown color. Maybe I'll get rid of that one too. And this one is their popular, I don't know, I thought I was kitten. No, it's Go Lightly. This one, I don't remember what this one looks like. It's just like a gold. Yeah. That's really nice, so that one I'll keep. Okay, and now I just have a couple Winky Luxes before the final brand of eyeshadows to go through, which are my Tom Fords. <laughs> a lot of those. So this is Winky Lux. Um, in the shade Oliver. It's pretty peach shimmer. This is the shade Leo. Brown. Golden brown color. Okay, now these are all of my Tom Fords. Yep, crazy when you think about how much they are individually. Um, when they were releasing these, I don't know, I just like went eat shit and just wanted to try them all, but I did refrain and not buy them all. Of course, couldn't do that. Um, but I did get a bunch of the different formulas because they came out with different formulas and shades in each type. So I just got whatever ones seemed to be calling my name. And I think also at the time, Neiman Marcus was having like 10% off of their beauty products. So I was just like, Perfect. I get 10% off on these new releases and I think Ebates probably had 10% off so it was like 20% off but still not a good reason. So this is the Private Shadow um, the Sateen in Silver Screen. So it's really cute how they just kind of snap open like that. And there you go. I'm not going to swatch all of these. I swatched them on my Instagram when they first released. Here's another Sateen Iris Bronze. But I'm just showing you. Pretty brown color. This is the suede, no, yeah, suede formula videotape. That's kind of glittery burgundy color. This is the paillette in fire sign. So this, I think, is the glittery formula here. This one I will swatch. A little TF logo. So not like super rich and pigmented, but still a nice shadow in my opinion. Here is Sateen in Smoked Opaline. So this is like the green shade. Yep. My favorite shades. Uh, vinyl in the Warm Leatherette. So this is another formula. This one, I don't really remember what this one is like. This one feels really soft. It's kind of less glittery and just more satin, metallic. Ultra Suede Dark Victory. So this looks like a matte here. Let's see how the mattes look. A little patchy, but that could just be using the make makeup wipes all afternoon. This is the vinyl shade in Body Double. So pretty champagne shade. Suede shade in High Rise. Nice purple. Let's watch this one. Ooh, that's pretty. There's a blue violet. Payette in Breathless. Ooh, super glittery there. Shiny looking. Let me swatch this one because I don't think I swatched a Payette. So, oiled. So the way it catches the light, it makes a nice kind of shiny reflect. So I think that would be pretty eye-catching in the daylight. Another Payette in Camera Obscura. Ooh, this one is really pretty. I do remember using this one, so it's like a purple-blue. Reflect. Um, this one is a suede shade in Agenda, Ro Agenda Rouge. Yeah. So a nice red color. And the last one here is suede in Burnt Suede. 
Coke shade. And then he came out with a new formula and these silver cases here, I forget what they're called, the Shadow Extremes. So they don't have names, they just have numbers. So this is TF06. I've heard mixed reviews on these. A lot of people didn't like them. Um, the couple of shades I've tried, I liked. Um, you know, I always use other shadows too, so it's not like I use these as standalone. But this one is really pretty. This is like, like an ultraviolet shade. See, I think that's stunning. So I don't know, people, some people said they didn't like these. Um, this one is number 13. This is like a pretty pink blue. Yeah, look at that. I think people like Michelle Wong and maybe Mel Thompson just didn't like these. But I mean, I know swatches are different than on the eye, but I did wear these on the eye and I liked how they turned out. This one is number 02. Pippa's coming back into the action here with the light. This is like a gold green shade. A couple more. Number 11. Ooh, it's green. Yeah, look at that. Uh, 18. Now oh, this one maybe this one looks chunkier. Yeah, it feels like chunky glitter. Let's see. Ooh, that isn't. Yeah, this I could see. Okay, this one I could see is a bunch of crap. Yeah, it's just glitter. It doesn't even come off my hand. Ugh. Yeah, that one is crap. <laughs> that one I'll get rid of. Wonder, is this one different? No, it says just Shadow Extreme, so I don't think there was different formulas for the silver cases. They were all supposed to be about the same. This pretty red one here is in number five. And then this last one here. Oh, this was released before the other the whole collection came out as a single like limited edition so this one is in like ss18 or something and then so i got this even though it's not really my type of shade black silver glitter and then we come to find out that he's releasing a whole collection of these so i don't know why they just released the single first maybe to see how they were going to do but yeah this green chunky one 18 I don't know why you would just like make one like that and then like a bunch like this shade here, but whatever, I'll get rid of that one. So yep, yeah, that is all of my single eyeshadows. Thank you so much for staying with me and watching all of this and seeing the swatches. So I hope you enjoyed it and I don't know exactly what next I'm going to be doing in my collection videos. I think I still have blushes left and then... um I have tons of lipsticks, so that will be coming up too. I have lip gloss, liquid lipstick, cream lipsticks, all of those. <laughs> so yeah, I'll eventually be making my way through those. And if you would subscribe to my channel, that would mean so much to me, you guys. And I hope you just like seeing, you know, my massive collection and what, you know, I have and am going through. <laughs> have a good day. Bye.